Cascadia. And the issue today is that the truck is presented with the code 3058 FMI 10. This is a GHG 17. The exhaust gas recir recirculation slow response is what we're dealing with. This code was sent to me by the customer. Uh, this customer's out of state. I'm in Florida, they're in Georgia. So uh, I got the code, so I was able to prepare and print it out. So the fault code is saying that it um, sets the code when actual EGR flow versus desired EGR flow is greater in, is greater than a calibrated threshold. EGR Delta P sensor, intake manifold sensor, intake manifold temperature sensor, that's the ones we're gonna monitor. Those are the, uh, the intake manifold pressure sensor and the intake manifold temperature sensor are the same sensor. So, and then the Delta P sensor. So typical enabling conditions is low engine and high engine loads. So this trailer is, I mean, this truck is hooked up to a trailer that take high loads. So that is exactly like what he was saying, goes up the uh, hills, he said sometimes, or when he has heavy loads, it tends to um, kind of be less powerful. So I already have the uh, my scanner hooked up and everything. I kind of already got into the whole deal with it already. So uh, step one, you know, you always hook up your cords and stuff and your systems. Turn the ignition on. So then we check for the codes. Uh, all these codes was listed. It was not on my uh, scanner here. It was not there. The only one that was here was the 3058 FMI 10. There was some inactive codes, but that was the only inactive code after letting it run. So then after that, I made sure everything was updated and um, DD13 engine build after, so everything like that. I checked the diesel particulate filter DPF zone. Is it greater than zero? And it was not greater than zero, so it tells us to move on to the next step. The next step is to um, road test with the trailer. Performing multiple accelerations, engine load needs to accelerate. So I can't do that step necessarily because um, right now the truck this trailer is empty, so can't do that part. So I just had to skip that. But it does tell me to check the um, delta P sensor voltage, and that's why I am. So here's your delta P sensor. This is where it's located. Uh, driver's side so this is the connection that goes to it it's really cool mechanic taught me this getting the little pipe thing clean it that way So here's a good look into the scanner here. Uh, I use Snap-on ProLink Edge. So this is what I recorded when I looked at it the first time. So you can see these are my pressures. These are my readings and everything like that. I accelerated it and uh, let it run with a little bit of acceleration and also decelerated, let it just sit in idle. So you will be able to tell when I accelerate and when I'm leaving it at idle. Alright, so these are the ones that I have on the quick list monitoring it. Uh, it's off right now, but uh, as you can see for that one, when I had it running, it was that, so that's good. So this right here is after cleaning it and testing it and everything like that. Um, this is our pressure, this is our voltage. So we're getting the correct voltage and everything like that. I checked the wiring, make sure there's no holes or pins corroded or anything like that. That seems to be all good. Cleaned it off and everything. So let's uh, see here. Alrighty, so after following the steps, um, what I'm gonna do is go take this for a test run with the trailer, clear the codes, try to verify and compare the readings and everything, not getting too much of a different reading. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out, test it out, see what happens, see if the code comes back up. If the, does, if the code does not um, come back up, 
and it says that um, so this road test with trailer while performing multiple accelerations engine load needs to increase above 50% during acceleration does not uh, does fault code SPN so basically the code we have is to come back up so it says if it doesn't come back up back pressure in the exhaust was the cause of the concern release vehicle to customer and if it does then the steps that it wants me to go through we already went through it so it didn't really necessarily follow it so voltage is good we cleaned it out pins are good um, the electrical connector is good everything like that is good so um, I don't, right now where we are there's no way to even replace the Delta P sensor even if I uh, had to I know in traditional shops people be like just throw a Delta P sensor in there and go see what it does but in this case can't do that because right now it's closed and I'm far away from it but I will recommend it to the customer and see if that changes uh, if it does come back up because it does stay stay in these uh, here because when I did clean it up so basically when I cleaned it, it said inspect ports restriction. It wasn't like really, really bad, but it was. But it says if it does have restrictions and everything, it just says remove and replace. So, but I just cleaned it. So that should be good enough. I checked around for any exhaust leaks. I checked turbo to see if there's anything leaking from there and there's nothing. So that's uh, pretty much it. So let me go ahead and grab this customer, grab the stuff, and I'm gonna go ahead and Test drive. Grow and uh, actually take the time to be that personal, like like a, like I said, a personal trainer, but be that personal mechanic and uh, really like walk walk my clients through and let them know this is what's going on and really get straight to the point with them. So it's like I'm right there while I'm here. You got me. You ask me any question you want, I'll explain it to you until I can't. If I can't explain it to you, we look it up. We, you know, just really just kind of like going the extra mile. It's kind of how I see it. I like doing.